talk with Shotty Mills and you'll learn, you'll learn, you'll learn. Yo, what is up everybody? Shotty Mills, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you buddy for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this YouTube video. And today, I'm gonna... Just what? drop it, man. Drop it. Drop it. How these, my AirPods are just like... Man, have you, has anybody had that problem with the AirPods where you're just trying to connect them directly to your, to your phone, your iPhone, and it just completely, I don't know, it just completely botched, man. It's like these headphones are like shot. Like, honestly, um, I don't know. It's just like, don't you ever just... <laughs> <laughs> My headphones are shot, what? So as you can see, I'm repping Wu Tang Clan shirt. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know I had this shirt. I totally forgot about it. I think it's pretty OG, man. Like Wu Tang, definitely big inspiration, old school influence, definitely. Say so, what? Yeah. Say what? I'm talk about Say what? You're half Filipino. I'm gonna talk about my biggest music influences. So. With that in mind, let's just talk about my biggest music influences uh, when it comes to music. So, and I'm going to give a little bit of explanation of why I find them unique and why I have them being my inspiration as they are. So, first inspiration that comes to mind is, this is quite common, quite common amongst the wide range of people within the music industry and rap industry, is Eminem. Eminem. He just revolutionizes, like, the whole sound revolutionized the rap industry in a way where it was dominant by other people within the industry. Just drop it, man. Drop it. Man. Drop it. It completely changed, like, the way that music was completely revolutionized and it, it was just just good that uh, he was like really immersed within the industry got really involved with everybody he eventually signed with Dr. Dre and eventually created his own record label of Shady Records at his mouth today and his branding campaign is like so strong but yeah, so maybe just the uniqueness of his flow and his ability to string together multi-syllable rhymes is completely astounding. And I think that's what really sets him apart. And that's, if there's, if there's anybody that you want to study the rhyme schemes, uh, you can study Big Daddy K, early Big Daddy K, where Eminem got his rhyme schemes from. There's flow from Ray Cam. It's all these, all these early rappers got like, inspire these new wave of rappers that came up in the industry and yeah also another big inspiration of mine that I like to talk about is Tupac himself Tupac the way he has like this poetic demeanor to write raps and deliver it in such a coherent way it's like so concise but it's yet it's so powerful the way that he expresses it like in similar to in some of his songs like changes for instance that song is just like has a melodic flow to it within the hook and the verses are so catchy it's so like tells a story the best raps tell a story and it's kind of funny that the best raps that are written or any music that is written the best best kind of uh, music that is written is the ones that are written when someone is angry or they're feeling a strong intense feeling about something and I feel like Tupac really does hit the nail on the head when he's trying to express himself in that way and I think that's why lots of people really relate to him and I can relate to him quite a bit a lot of my tracks have been inspired by him as well okay and now we're gonna branch into another person that another rapper that has inspired me quite a bit so let's uh let's just say J. Cole J. Cole himself was inspired by Nas, who's another big influence on me. Nas, 
revolutionized music back in the early days when he was in the early days when he was in the streets uh, with Nas and all that even back when he was him and Nas were like back in New York City and him and Snoop Dogg were chilling there chilling and then Nas kind of had them in his like I don't know in his own area somewhere in his like on his block and then Tupac and Snoop were kind of like a little bit intimidated by that but you know it just goes to show how such a big influence or influence what like power like fame could do to you like what money and power can do but the feeling is the the thing is though that sometimes it just corrupts you but now you look at it now you look at it uh you see if you, if you look at it man you do want to grow with your music you definitely do and that's that's what i definitely mean but do grow with your music are you going to grow with your music or not because yes so it's funny nas now he was like all in the streets with that illmatic album like man that was just the way that he expressed himself in that in the streets and what he was telling what he was encountering within the street and the street life and then now he's more laid back he's telling people he's basically like a dad now he's like a role model to everybody he wants to treat those people that came up in the streets to not make the same mistakes that he did and he's more so like a, a mentor now for these young upcoming artists or anybody that is wanting to learn something he's like his therapist man he's like his therapist in rap music now think about that therapist in rap music he talks about real life real life stories real life situations real life experiences and that's what that's what really hits home that's what really hits people in the heart and souls soul hip-hop is such a big like evolutionary like way that people express themselves hip-hop that comes from the soul because it makes people feel that they have a greatness within them that they're just gonna like expel from them it's gonna expel them to reach a higher potential of where they want to be and yeah that's basically any any rappers that have inspired me there's lots more rappers that inspired me but i just wanted to touch upon some of them and i feel like that would be really valuable for my audience to know kind of talk about how they did revolutionize hip-hop and how like they still to this gen- like even Pac, he's like from another rap generation man and he's still influencing rappers nowadays like just goes to show how a music movement can move people and it can revolutionize like the whole sound it can revolutionize like a whole new wave of like artists and rappers to come up with in the industry and that's what really stands out to me it stands out because people then develop their own style off that they develop their own way of thinking of how they see different things now because uh, there's different rappers that okay you write something you have a different play on words on how you say a particular like line or bar or whatever or verse and any rapper like could come up with some different play on words with their wordplay and i think the reason why am is so like influential is because of his vocabulary that he uses and how he strings it all together to make complex rhyme schemes and those complex rhyme schemes man they impress everybody and the way that he flows to it in such a like coherent manner and effortless manner is what sets him apart like he's developed like okay okay let's just back up a bit so then he he like i remember like early back in the relapse of him he did he did have like um he started out with more like a slow flow slow flow rap and then coming up into eventually when he started to get into his recovery album coming into the releasing of his new track like with fast raps like godzilla and rap god then he started to like he, he he started spitting some faster raps and i think his his he kind of grew with his sound you know because he started out doing he's kind of started out kind of having that more more old school old school influence where he had big daddy k and ll cool j and everybody influencing influencing him up in the industry and i think that's what really uh, set the groundwork for him coming up in the industry and for me i really looked up to eminem i spit a lot of like eminem raps i memorized a lot of eminem raps 
and there's lots of other rappers I look up to as well, but there's just something about his music that really does uh, move people, it does revolutionize people, and it just makes people want to write more and it inspires more people. And the reason I'm saying this is because I want to do build a groundwork, build a mold around that for how I'm going to establish uh, the movement that I'm creating for music, which is to inspire people and have them expel that greatness within them. So using whatever they have in them and building on that to build up to reach the top of a stardom and not go down on the downtrend because of what others are saying about it. So you have to move with it. The, the industry is constantly changing. There's lots of people, there's always people. You have to think innovatively, study how you're going to cope up with all the change, ever changing. Cause look at, with the fast pace, the world out there, look at like everything is changing. Sound is completely evolutionized. Technology is completely evolutionized. And the way that we're seeing things has completely changed, completely altered our point of view. And I think if we have a little bit more gratitude to that and understand that, yeah, if we can change the way that we think about it and see it, then yeah, eventually we can get the benefit of the doubt and uh, establish ourselves in whatever field that we're doing, whether that's music, business, or anything like that. But yeah. I just have a, I thought I'd just have a little bit of talk with you guys. Thank you, buddy, for having a talk with Shawnee Mills today. Uh, stay tuned for the new Syndrome release. We are two weeks, two weeks countdown now for the upcoming release. Stay tuned. I will be posting the pre-save link for Spotify on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. In the meantime, everybody, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, stay in touch, and yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Catch the syndrome, and I'll see you guys uh, soon. I'll see you guys next week for my next video. I release uh, new YouTube videos every Monday and Wednesday, so stay tuned for the new video. I can't wait to surprise you guys with the next one. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.